Hello, fabulous superstar Cancer. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of April, 2023. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month, without a doubt. Big moves happening in the sky now. This month's full moon will take place on the 6th of the month. This is a powerful full moon happening across the sky from Jupiter. There's a lot of overestimating, overpromising, a lot of inflated desires, and yet in some ways, this full moon represents the reveal of what a pathway forward towards greater fulfillment could look like for us. Now for you, this full moon is taking place at the foundation of your chart, having to do with home, your living situation, everything from buying, selling, moving, redecorating, attracting a new roommate, to your relationship with your family of origin, perhaps your parents where that applies. If you have a home-based business or you work with homes, well, this can represent a time when there's a lot of ambition. There's a real sense of all it is that you could do. And yet there's also the need to evaluate whether or not the pathway there is going to be worth it. Considering how much very fortunate energy we have at the top of your sky, but also real breakthrough energy, it's almost like your career is getting so much attention now for pretty much all of the month that this moment that brings you home in some way uh, may feel not as much as working with the actual energies that are at play, but it's interesting how it works. It's almost like in order to reach heights, you have to reconcile with and make peace with your past. It's like to believe that you can accomplish anything, you may have to look at childhood messages and heal that so that you can truly align with a higher, more loving vision that much more. If it is that you desire changes on the home front and you're contemplating what it is that that might look like, well, it is that there could be a plan that'll take you to something more ideal in terms of your living space or situation. There may be very heightened expectations as to what is possible with that, and yet you can find your way forward. Details are not necessarily clear when Jupiter is opposite. A full moon like this, that full moon energy that you feel that much more given that the moon is your ruling luminary, well, its energies are that much more heightened, which means emotion is that much more heightened with energy like this that especially feels close to you now, whether it's a desire to be with your family of origin or desire to be in a space, in a home that feels truly right for you. Now, as we navigate further, uh, this is where very important energies start happening at the top of your sky. We have them right out of the gate. I mean, the sun uh, and Jupiter are moving through the top of your sky, uh, including at the very beginning of the month, we've also got uh, Mercury here as well. However, these energies, these really big energies are going to peak in important ways once we get to the 20th. That is when we are going to have a solar eclipse, a new moon eclipse taking place at a particularly important place at the top of your sky. And so this is what astrologers call uh, 29 degrees. If you think back a month earlier, we had a new moon happening here as well, but that was a zero degree. It was at the very beginning of this part of the sky. Now, here we are at the very end, but it is also a moment that can feel like it has, yes, a lot of emotion, a lot of surprise, some frustration, but there's also a lot of activity, a lot of action as well. It could be that there is some new career-related alignment or adventure that could be calling you now. I'm going to invite you to think back again, just 28 and a half days earlier, we had a new moon here. And whatever's happening now with this eclipse in some way is going to build on what at that time might have just been an idea or a possibility. Now you start delving and diving into it that much more, with that much more commitment and drive and passion and desire, and very likely rooted in some new opportunity that feels like it comes out of nowhere. And so this has to do with career, 
social standing, life purpose, your understanding of what a higher, more loving vision for your life would be, your understanding of what you really want to do in a larger sense, the goals that you have for your life and how it is that you're going to align with them and achieve them. What does success look like for you? What does meaningful achievement look like for you? All of this is going to stir for you powerfully now. New opportunities, new beginnings, and new understandings are going to feel like they come out of nowhere. But this is the kickoff to eclipse season that we'll be entering next month with. As eclipse season kicks off at this time, well, it invites you to truly consider and embrace and understand that much more where it is that you believe a higher, more loving vision for your life may actually lie, even if that ends up being a very different place than you thought before. I mentioned there's a lot of intensity here, and that is because we have Pluto in somewhat of a square to this uh, eclipse. It's not a true square because the elements are harmonious, and yet when we look at the orb, we've got the square there. This is a lot of astrology tech talk for those of you who might not be students of astrology, so we can put that aside. But just to say, yeah, it's a lot of intense energy here. You add to this that Jupiter isn't far away as well. Now, keep in mind this month, we've also got the luckiest day of the year happening on the 11th. This is happening in that career-oriented part of the sky for you as well. Keep in mind that once we navigate into next month, in the middle of next month, Jupiter will leave this part of the sky, not to return for over a decade. And so you can see that we've got some really powerful energies at play here. On the one hand, feeling as if there are possibilities where it comes to your success, where it comes to your alignment with greater visibility, greater success as well. But at the same time, there is the opportunity here to connect with a belief in yourself that there is some higher, more loving vision for your life for you. Around the 11th, with the luckiest day of the year, the sun meeting Jupiter in the sky, it becomes really important to be proactive with that energy in some way. So reach out to others, consider the possibilities, work on some goal or some aim that you may have, even if it's in your own time and space. But of course, to work with this energy that much more consciously, to reach out to others can also help you at this time. However, the energy of the eclipse is different because eclipses sort of have a will of their own. It's so often that we can't always know what a higher, more loving vision for our life could be. And there are actually times when we're so invested in some outcome, but from the perspective of the universe and all that we were created to do, that vision of what we think is so hard and so big to achieve might actually be very limited from the perspective of the universe. And so it's important to stay open at the eclipse. It's not so much about being proactive with it and running with that energy, but rather staying open to what is showing up for you, what you're coming to understand within you, and where it is that opportunities feel like they are falling in your lap, very possibly they will, where it comes to matters of love. And so it is going to be on the 11th of the month that Venus will move out of a friendship part of your sky, moving instead into a part of the sky for you that represents the sign just before yours. It's decidedly quiet here. Uh, it has to do with what's happening on levels of soul and psyche and spirit, but also what's happening behind the scenes as well. And whatever might be happening in love, it looks like it might be very exciting, thrilling even. And I say that because immediately as Venus changes signs, it's going to align in harmony with Pluto in supreme harmony at that. So there's a lot of sultry energy here. But it looks like whatever might be happening, you can't quite shout from the rooftops, at least not just yet. For those of you open to meeting someone new, I do feel like there is a likelihood that you could connect with someone new, especially around the middle of the month. Now, you may not feel like you can tell everybody about it just yet, and that's okay. But I also think that very soon you may come to realize that things are more complicated than they seemed 
on the surface, at least at first. It's up to you to decide how you're going to proceed and what's right for you to do in light of your unique circumstances. For those of you just starting to date someone, well, it is the middle of the month that really is that sweet spot uh, where either it's going to feel as if something cultivates that feels that much stronger, that much more connected, or it could feel as if either you or them or both of you get busy in some way or no longer around each other as much. Uh, it might be that it just really feels like this isn't the right person for you. So you're allowing yourself to experience some space between you and them. But also possible, of course, is just real busyness, life kind of stepping in. That trend will likely last into next month. Next month, Venus will enter your sign. That is a massive event to take place because it is going to be that Venus moving into your sign that's going to represent a fresh start in the context of love. And that's really when you'll be that much more clear as to what busyness was really about and what you want to do now navigating forward. And for those of you in an established bond, what a remarkable time this can be. There might be a lot going on between you and your partner. You can't quite announce to the world and that really is okay. A very, very small percentage of Cancerians out there, if you felt for a while that maybe you're not in the right relationship for you, well, this can be when a lot of emotion and a lot of feeling is stirring very strongly for you. As much as there may be a desire for it to work, for it to come together, it may also be a time when you're looking at what just is not going to work. And from there, you get to make a choice. Right around the middle of the month, whatever you decide, it looks like you're at peace with that decision. What I love about this month for you, there's so much here. It's a powerful and meaningful astrological moment. I am going to say, look, the luckiest day of the year really is the star of the show in so many ways. But keep in mind, it's the top of your sky that is very lit up, especially the first three weeks of the month. And pay attention to what happens right at that eclipse, right around the 20th. Not only will it mirror or further what was taking place a month earlier, but also keep in mind next month, mid-month, we're going to have Jupiter move over the eclipse point, which is very powerful, which is only going to heighten the energy of this time and of this space. And so it can be a time when, yes, a lot of emotion is stirring. There's something you may really want to achieve something that feels as if it might be a dream or a higher goal for your life, or maybe even purpose as well. But the thing with purpose and the thing with destiny is that really what you are living right now, this very moment is the destiny that you are living. You're being invited to, yes, Keep your mind towards lofty aims and the goals that you have, but don't miss your life. Allow yourself to be present as much as possible and you'll see how it is. You're already living those goals, those ambitions right in front of you now. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this each and every week for each and every sign for as low as just $3 a month with Choose Your Membership Rate. Now, higher tiers get you things like all access passes to Synchronicity University events, consultations with me, and so much more. All of this in the superstar space at NadiaShawSuperstars.com. Links are in the description below. Thank you again for watching. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.